Capricorn. This will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 19th through November the 20th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for November the 19th through November the 20th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for November the 19th through November the 20th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for November the 19th through November the 20th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Capricorn. Capricorn. These are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn. You have the four of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Capricorn, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the four of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the four of wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the seven of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Capricorn, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Is this a runaway bride here? Is someone lying in you guys' already established commitment or relationship? Someone was cheating at some type of celebration. Someone's being deceptive or cheating concerning some type of property. Capricorn, you have the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Capricorn, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Clarify the 10 of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the 10 of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the 10 of swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the 7 of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of the other options here. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal because there's some type of confusion going on. You can tell me that you're feeling a sense of betrayal because of some type of lies or illusions or the fact that someone was cheating with other options here. Hmm. Capricorn, you have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. 
So Capricorn, you could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Capricorn, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. So listen, you can tell me that you need to make a decision on whether or not you want to work things out with this person or you're maybe planning something here or working on something here. Hmm. Capricorn, you have the seven of cups again. Like I said, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that you need to make a decision. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Capricorn. I mean, because you have been betrayed, you may be looking at your options here. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Capricorn, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here. Or you went looking and spying, researching, investigating. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Capricorn, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Hmm. You can tell me that you guys had some type of immature, premature communication concerning some type of confusion here. And this is the reason why you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you went looking and spying here and discovered some type of lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options. And this is the reason why you're on a break. You can tell me that you're meditating and looking into your other options here. The heck is going on? You have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So listen, Capricorn, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with death. 
Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Capricorn. Clarify death for Capricorn. Clarify death for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So listen, Capricorn, you're telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. You know... I feel like you're taking action to end things here because you could have discovered that they had new love or started a new era in love, you know, some type of deception here. And you're hurt by this. It's something that you're discovering. It's causing you to feel a sense of betrayal here. Some type of sneaking off from the house, sneaking someone in the house, sneaking off to a celebration, sneaking off to get married. Some type of deception and you already established commitment. Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Capricorn. Now, this is just additional messages here. What in the world? And so, retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. What? Retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. Let it go. They will get their karma. Let it go. Mm. What else for Capricorn? Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. Drastic, extreme, harsh cutoff. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Capricorn, this will happen in the next 48 hours from November the 19th through November the 20th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.